we're seeing today actually is the first time we've had full uniforms back and a photo shoot to um, sell into the papers this weekend. So this is the first time that the team have been wearing their full garments, altered to fit. And as you can see behind me, it's um, a really exciting stage. The, um, the uniforms are really fantastic and all the detail is really beautiful. We're so proud of, of seeing them all. We've got also um, the creative director, Stuart, from Jaeger here today. And it's the first time he's seen them all together as well. So it's such an exciting day. I really can't wait for visitors to see them on the 26th of March. One, two, three. Big smiles, girls. Big smiles. Heads nice and high. Smiles bright and shiny. Good. Good. Keep that smile on till your face aches. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> Quite a challenge um, to start with because obviously as a being a fashion designer you're so used to creating something that is kind of seasonal um, it's for six months and then you move on to the next whereas with here with creating something as a uniform for the palace um, it was great because we wanted to give it much more longevity and it had to be much more timeless so you know you're kind of in a way limited with colors that you can use and stars that you can use and something that really is going to last you know 10 20 years time so we really started with the archive and the archive here is amazing um, you know, so you've got, you know, the, the, the whole court dress collection. So really we start to be inspired by that, but we wanted to really mix it with the court dress, but then have something that's really modern and really into the 21st century. That's very elegant and it's very comfortable. One, two, three. Yes. I think it's wonderful. I've, this is my tenth year here, and um, I, the others have never been tailor-made. We've had before, and um, this is the first time. So I, I was delighted to have a new uniform anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look, it's crooked again. Isn't it? It's just, it was what happened? Your tie is always crooked. <laughs> well, it's he does that deliberately, so you have to do that. Exactly. Yeah. We picked uh, the button, which is uh, engraved and is inspired by uh, the William and Mary um, monogram, which is above the doorway um, for, uh, for, of the palace. Great, I quite like them. They're really comfortable and they're really sharp and um, really nice and bright. I really like the button details um, with the W and M for William and Mary. I think it's quite nice. So. Quite like it. It was definitely very collaborative, and even um, with with the staff here as well. You know, it had to be a uniform that they were very comfortable to wear. You know, they're the ones that are wearing it, um, wearing it every day. So, it was very much collaborative with them, and you know, we bounced ideas off them. We started with meetings where you know they'd talk about what they liked and what they would like to wear, um, and then also you know me going into the archive and being inspired by the archive as well. So. It was very much collaborative, and then even from the prototypes, we'd show them the prototypes, um, and they would try them on and, and give their feedback. And, and yeah, it was really quite an organic process, really, um, from start to finish. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's amazing, and it's a great honour, um, and it's it's a real it's a real honour to be asked to do it. Um, I've had connections here with the palace for a number of years, and you know, I've, I've really been inspired and come and use the archive here. Uh, probably over seven to eight years, I've uh, been working with Deidre here. Um, so it's great to be asked to do it, and uh, as I say, it's been an honour, and um, it's great to actually see them today, um, you know, finished and, and, and ready to go. So it's really good. <laughs>